Office Supplies in English. This video is sponsored by the following English learning websites. What are some everyday items you see in an office? This video will help you learn words for various items you might see in an office. First, let's check your vocabulary. Look at the pictures. You will have five seconds to guess and say the word in English. For example, you will see, you will say, pencil. Ready? Let's begin. Item number one. Stapler. Item number two. Scissors. Item number three. Ruler. Item number four. Tape. Item number five. Clipboard. Item number six. Waste basket. Some people might say waste paper basket. Item number seven. Folder or folders. Some people might say file folders. Item number eight. Paper clip. Item number nine. Rubber band or rubber bands. Some people might say elastic or elastics. Item number 10. Envelope. Here are some other things you might see in the office or in a classroom. Say the words for pronunciation. Staples. Glue. Binder or loose leaf. Notebook or notebooks. Crayon or crayons. Marker. File box or file boxes. Highlighter. Desk. Computer or computers. Ink. Thumbtack or thumbtacks. Some people might call these push pins. Stationery. Stationery can refer to materials used in writing. Sometimes it only refers to paper items, such as paper and envelopes. Note, you can see more pictures with vocabulary words and hear the pronunciation by clicking on the link in the description below. Number two, grammar, context, and conversation. Now that you have learned and practiced the vocabulary, it's time to put the words into sentences. To and enough with nouns. To and enough are used with nouns to indicate sufficient or extra amounts. To means more than necessary. 
and it precedes words like many or much. Enough means sufficient and usually precedes the noun directly. For example, there are too many thumbtacks on the board. Count. There isn't too much glue on the paper. Non-count. We have enough pens, but we don't have enough ink. Count and non-count nouns. Count and non-count nouns can express positive or negative amount. We have enough staplers. Sufficient. We don't have enough staples. Insufficient. There are too many pencils. More than we need. Count. There aren't too many pens. Fewer than expected. There's too much tape. More than enough. Non-count. There isn't too much ink. Less than expected. Non-count. Practice these sentences. Use the vocabulary words you learned above. We don't have enough. Please go to the store and get some more. That's too much. Or that's too many. For this project. Save the rest for later. Is there or are there enough? If so, give me a few or a little more. Pause the video and practice these with your classmates. To and enough with adjectives. To and enough are used with adjectives to indicate degree. To means more than necessary, and it precedes the adjective. Enough means sufficient, and it usually follows the adjective. For example, the ink was too dark for the poster. Excessive. The ink wasn't dark enough for the poster. Insufficient. The ink was dark enough for the poster. Just right. Pretend you're going to create a poster with a group of people. Talk about office supplies. For example, do we have enough paper? Are there enough markers? There aren't too many crayons. That color is too dark. That color isn't dark enough. Talking time. Pause the video and talk with your friends or classmates. Here are some pictures to help you remember. Pause the video if you need more time. Hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up like button below. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel for more lessons like these. Have a question for our next video? If you have a question or English topic you would like to learn about in another video, please submit it at the, at the link below. We would love to make a video especially for you. Thanks for watching. For more information, please see the links in the description below.